This is the Just West Show. I'm saying things and you listen. I know these lyrics suck. If they were good, I wouldn't be doing vlogs. Hola, awesome. This week I thought I would do one of my vlogs where I just kind of start talking and see what see what comes up, see what happens. I realize it might not get as many hits as like talking about something that's going on in the world where everyone's searching for it, but it's a really good exercise for me. It's a really good exercise for anyone who wants to do speaking to, you know, practice that a lot. Honestly, I should be doing it every day, but I usually only have time once or twice a week. Actually, this has been a really good week for me. Uh, earlier in the week, I was having a really crappy day at work, and I was headed home. And then my mom called me, and she's been waiting for this money, the settlement money, which I forget. I think she was supposed to be getting disability money for a while and she wasn't getting that because they weaseled their way out of it so she got a settlement of I forget how much but um, she called me she got the money she was able to buy herself a van and my sister her car and my sister had this really crappy red car it was just complete junk and we've been dealing with the problem of me going up there for Christmas because, you know, I really want to. It'd be my first Christmas away from home, not being able to see my relatives. Technically, any time would be just as good as this time, but I would much more prefer to actually be there on Christmas Day. And since I'm working at Denny's and we have, you know, the guinea pigs, we don't have a lot of money to spare. So my aunt, my uncle, my grandma, and my grandpa all got together and offered to either pay for the expenses to drive up or they would be able to pay for my ticket by myself flying up there which means my girlfriend wouldn't be able to come because as you might be able to guess christmas plane tickets are pretty expensive i mean for her and me round round trip would probably be a thousand dollars if not over i think it was maybe 900 it was the lowest i found but still i don't have 900 dollars lying around but since my mom got that money, she said, hey, why don't I pay for both of your tickets? I don't know, it just really put me in a good mood because I stress about these kind of things a lot, you know, thinking about them a lot. Which I probably do a lot more than I should, but, you know, human nature, you can't really help but constantly think about the things that worry you the most. Unfortunately, the last piece of the puzzle was still yet to be placed because I still have to get the vacation time from my boss okayed. Which my girlfriend's mom works at Denny, she's the one that got me the job originally. And she said most of the time everyone always tries to get vacation during Christmas time and it usually never works out. But the thing about my position there is I'm there for when the truck comes in with all the, you know, food and whatever. And recently I've been hosting on the weekends, but it's easy to get someone to replace me on the weekends. I mean, up until recently it wasn't even one of my jobs. And I do cooking and maintenance, but you know, that stuff can all be covered easily. And when I'm asking something like this, before I ask, you know, something that I'm nervous about, before I ask, I like to get a sense of um, what kind of answer I'm going to get. And I already got one from my girlfriend's mom. And so I was asking the guy that I cook with on Thursdays, and he just started cracking up. He's like, man, I've been here since 2000. He's been there for 10 years. He's like, man, I have never gotten Christmas off, so good luck. You can always try, but it's probably not going to happen. So I'm thinking, oh, great. So I finally got the balls to ask my superior, uh, and he started laughing a little bit because... Uh, it's kind of a ridiculous thing to ask, but I, I figure I might as well try my best to ask, you know, a good amount ahead of time. It's about two months from when I would need the time off. And he said it needs about a week to mull it over, and you know, now it's, I'm just waiting for the answer. He might be able to get something moved around so that I could uh, get that time off, but I don't know, it's just killing me, because... If I don't get to go that week or the next week, because my girlfriend only has those two weeks off of classes, that means that if I want to go up at all in January or, I don't know, earlier December, then then I'm going to have to go by myself because I'm not going to take her out of classes for a whole week, which is going to suck. But I really want to go up and see my family. I spent all my life around them just being able to drive half an hour maybe at the most or an hour, you know, to see them. And now I'm living all the way across the country. But yeah, other than that, the week's been going good for me. Um, and I got screwed out of a few days of work because I was supposed to be working Monday and Tuesday. And I didn't work either of those, so unfortunately my next paycheck will probably be a little smaller than I like it to be. But, but I am hoping in the next few weeks, whenever Saw comes out, probably after it all dies down after um, Halloween so we don't have to deal with the crowds, I want to go see it because I've seen the last few in theaters and this is the last one and it's in... 3D, yeah. Yeah, it's in 3D, isn't it? So I'd be kind of disappointed if I didn't get to go see it. 
It did kind of suck last weekend, though, because I found out it was the annual 2880 cinema um, contest that the PMN and Kalamazoo has annually, which last year was the first year that we ever entered. But we actually won a prize for something in, you know, one of the categories, so it was kind of exciting first year. Of course, some of it was just, like, too violent and too, you know, too much swearing and weird shit going on. And I think this year they were planning on showing all the ones that were, were had violence and, uh, and you know, language in it later, because it's kind of a family film festival. <laughs> Which I didn't really, I didn't really have a feel for it when we started out. But I was like, well, anybody and everybody could be coming to this thing, so I figure we need to keep it, you know, PG or PG thirteen, whatever that means. And a few of the people that we knew from last year's competition were excited about us partaking in it this year, which was weird. Um, I didn't really think we were going to get too much feedback about it. Actually, on my bigger channel, um, I'll put a link right here. On my bigger channel, we put the video um, on there. I'm not really having a good time with talking today. I don't know why. It's been kind of a slow day. I got up at 9, but I haven't really been doing much, so I'm just kind of, I don't know, my brain's moving a lot slower than I, I like, um, which I hope isn't going to put everybody to sleep that watches this. Honestly, a lot of the time when I'm acting, I have a lot more energy, or at least I can fake it, you know, or when someone's around, it, it compels me to have a lot more energy while filming. But yeah, check out the 2880 thing, um, check out my other channel if you are so inclined. We have about 90 subscribers right now, which if I would actually had the money to um, get our channel out there, I'm sure we would have a lot more. We do a lot of stuff, um, put a lot of hard work into it. I'd appreciate, you know, just checking it out. If it's your kind of thing, then I'd be cool if you could subscribe. If not, whatever, you know, move on, find a different channel. But yeah, awesomes, I'll uh, talk to you next week. I'm Wes, and this is the Just West Show.